scripture. Very interesting, the 120 years and the Sabbath 2012. So we go into this a little bit more from this particular verse here, this 120 years. As I would produce would be 120 years out of Selassie in 2012 on that Sabbath, December 21st, 2012. But anyway, get that teaching and you'll hear more on that. So really, Iyasu didn't was not to go before the king, but Iyasu or Yehoshua comes actually after the king, according to that particular prophecy, as we go into that a little bit more in the Sabbath 2012 teaching. But to move forward on this, for this Sabbath, Senbet Day, the 52nd uh, Senbet Day, and it says, And Yahweh shall go, shall do, shall do, to verse 4 and Yahweh shall do to them as he did to Sihon and to Og king of the Amorites and to the land of them whom he destroyed and Yahweh shall give them up before your face that ye all may do to them according to all the commandments which I have commanded you be strong and of a good courage Fear not, nor be afraid of them, for Yahweh Eloheka, thy source, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And we touched on this area as well during this past uh, segment this week um, on that, that part. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee, which is a repeated uh, phraseology, especially in Hebrews. 13 and 5 and elsewhere in the scripture of a promise that he will be with us if we align ourselves and our will to be one with him we will be a high one and Musa called to Yehoshua or to Joshua Yasu and said to him in the sight of all called Israel be strong and of a good courage for thou must go with this people to the land which Yahweh hath sworn to their fathers to give them and thou shalt cause them to inherit it. This is very important for us and for lineage of society as well. This particular prophecy of Joshua connected with the Exodus you understand? And with the coming out, with the Shashimani, with the African uh, Sion, with Ethiopia, and with Aina Rasia Dinos Teferi, as we will teach on a little bit further. But from verse 1 to 8, as we said, is Yasu and Musa Igarvetakat. And we'll like to touch on this section first in the beginning of this 52nd, as we near the end of one lunar solar cycle, we begin another lunar solar cycle. In fact, one of the most important lunar solar cycles, perhaps, in the last 20, 26,000 years. One of the most important lunar solar cycle in the last 26,000 years. We will explain further in other, in other corresponding teachings, but let's get through this right here, our Sabbath reading. And Yahweh, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Fear not is, is saying to us, the word is saying to us, fear not. You understand? He will not fail us. So we should trust in him. So we should fear not. Fear not. Now what's interesting about this right here, this is the first, the first uh, bait or the first section from verses 1 to verse 8, the first section, verse 1 to verse 8, the first section that we have to ground ourselves on. And the first section, actually, the first reader could read that particular section when you understand the proper sectioning of the various readings and the various chapters. Because as it now goes on, it's going to speak on the next section, the next of the three main section and one sort of a appendix but actually it's the the Amuse Mesmur in verse 30 begins off to show that when the scrolls were written there wasn't these particular chapter chapter section but being be it as it may they are there now we should utilize all of this to 
our benefit. The next section is from now verses 9 to 13. And that is, that is named Bamarinya Higun Leman Beb to Izaz Sila Meset Etu. In other words, this is the, the commandment, the giving of the commandment, the giving of the commandment concerning the giving of the commandment to, to read, to read Higu, to read the law. This is very interesting because according to Revelation, and we was reminded about this in our study recently, again, of the Ficare Iesus, where Ficare Iesus actually quotes, um, actually quotes uh, Rai, or Revelation, Revelation chapter 1, uh, verse 3, Zemenu Karvualina, Yihin Metaf, Yemian Neboa, Yetin Nabitunak Al Yemisa Mutina, the Wistu Yetis Afo Winna, Yemiat Abukut, the Tuan Nacho. In other words, there's a blessing, there's a blessing for those who read, and there's a blessing for those who hear. Because some would say, well, what meaneth this? Well, you know, going over just reading the scripture, all this Bible, rah, 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 rah. Well, those people are lost. They, they, they're under the curse unless, you know, unless they repent or a miracle happens. That's the way they're going to remain. But according to verse 3 of Revelation of, of Johannes, it says, Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy, this tinbi, tinbitun, and keep those things which are written therein and keep and protect and preserve those things that would be preserving this testimony each Sabbath, each Sabbath we're preserving this word we're protecting this word we're keeping this word and we're being blessed by the reading of the word and those who hear the reading of the word are also receiving a barricade you know what I'm saying they're also receiving a barricade I mean there's nothing better than the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ that we can find. Now, to complete this particular Sabbath, because it's only one chapter for this Sabbath, a very interesting thing that we've gotten through, you know, if you follow the, the Sabbath reading, we're up to the 52nd, and at this particular time, there's only one particular chapter for Torah that is that is required of us, you know, said in the faithful keeping of the Sabbath and growing in the Word, there's only one chapter. Unlike other, unlike other, unlike other Senbet, there was more than one chapter that had to be. So let's just move on to the second, the second section, Higun Leman Etu, or concerning the. The, the giving of the command to read, to read the law, the hook from verses 9 to verse 13 of chapter 31. And it begins, and Musa wrote, verse 9, and Musa wrote this law and delivered it to the priests, the sons of Lewi, or Levi, which bear the ark of the covenant of Yahweh, and to all the elders of Israel. And Musa commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, in the solemnity of the year of release, in the Feast of Tabernacles, <coughs> or Sukkot, or the ingathering, when all Israel is come to appear before Yahweh, Eloheka, thy source, Amlaka, in the place which he shall choose, thou shalt read this hug, this law, before all Israel in their hearing. Gather the people together, men and women and children, and thy stranger that is within thy gates, that they may hear, and that they may learn, and fear or reverence Yahweh, Eloheka, Yahweh, our Elohim, and observe, observe to do all the words of this hook, of this law, and that their children 
which have not known anything. Here in the King James, anything is italicized, but it's interesting when we look at the children of this generation and that their children, which have not known anything, may hear and learn to reverence Yahweh Elohim as long as ye live in the land whither ye go over Jordanos or the Jordan to possess it. Now this in itself is very interesting in many, many ways. This is where scripture, very interesting, the 120 years and the Sabbath 2012. So we go into this a little bit more from this particular verse here, this 120 years, as I would produce would be 120 years out of in 2012 on that Sabbath, December 21st, 2012. But anyway, get that teaching and you'll hear more on that. So. Oh, I'm not